if gracious silence, sweet attention, quick sight and quicker apprehension, the lights of judgment's throne shine anywhere, our doubtful author hopes this, this is their sphere. And therefore opens he himself to those, to other weaker beams, his labours close, as loath to prostitute their virgin strain to every vulgar and adulterate brain. In this alone his muse her sweetness hath. She shuns the print of any beaten path and proves new ways to come to learned ears. Pied ignorance she neither loves nor fears. Nor hunts she after popular applause or foamy praise that drops from common jaws. The garland that she wears, their hands must twine, who can both censure, understand, define what merit is, then cast those piercing rays round as a crown instead of honoured bays about his posy, which, he knows, affords words above action, matter above words. Please insert play here.